Horizon Chance, Homo Suji Bax, and this is Health Ridge Part 7, a Warhammer 40k story. Yep, it's been a while, five months, I guess, since I reacted the last part. Yeah, so why not? Let's pick it up. This is by the channel Richard Boylan. This fan work is 100% unofficial, no way endorsed by games. So, so, yeah, it's the same description. So, let's watch it. I guess, you know, so far, yeah, right, an invasion is about to happen on, on Health Street, basically. And a, a group of Astartes are supposed to stop it. So, yeah, let's watch it. Very hard to miss. Are you all as insulted as I am? This is what they send against us? This is what they send. This rabble. We hold one of the mightiest cities on the face of the planet. The fury of its guns sends all skyborne enemies to the ground in flames. We stand united in our thousands. Also a titan. Our weapons without number, our purity without question, and our hearts beating courage through our blood. And this is how they attack us. Brothers and sisters. A legion of beggars and alien dregs wheezes its way across the plains. Forgive me when the moment comes that they whine and weep against our walls. Forgive me that I must order you to waste ammunition upon their worthless bodies. Yeah, okay. I have heard many souls speak my name in whispers since I came to Hell's Reach. I ask you now. Do you know me? <laughs> Do you know me? Yes! I am Grimaldus of the Black Templars, a brother to the Steel Legions of this defiant world. Never again in life will your actions carry such consequence. Never again will you serve as you serve now. No duty will matter as much, and no glory will taste as true. We are the defenders of Hell's Reach. On this day, we carve our legend in the flesh of every alien we slay. Will you stand with me? Yes! Sons and daughters of the Imperium, our blood is the blood of heroes and martyrs. The Xenos dare defile our city. They dare tread the sacred soil of our world. We will throw their bodies from these walls when the final day dawns. This 
is our city. This is our world. All right. I like this whole inspiration speech scene. I'm not gonna lie, but still, why are they standing outside when the ships are going aboard? What if somebody sells them, right? I mean, from a war perspective, this kind of feels weird. When the speech like this would happen at this kind of invasion, it would be somewhat indoor, wouldn't it? Say it! Cry it out so the bastards in orbit will hear our fury! Run, alien dogs! Come to me! Come to us all! Come and die in blood and fire! For the Templars! For the Steel Legion! For Hell's Reach! Cannot hear you, brothers. Hurl yourselves at these walls in human filth. I am Grimaldus of the Black Templars and will cast your carcasses from these holy walls. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Look at the fucking numbers. Yup, now we're gonna see part 8. So part 7 is all amped up, I guess, speech. That's what it is. Let's go, there we go. Yeah, so that's why people were telling me to do part 7, part 8 together. Because 7 it kind of feels like the half a story, right? It's just amping up, part 8 is going to be war. This feels like, you know, what was that? The two towers? I don't know, from the Lord of the Rings? Right, where there's about to be an invasion and there's, you know, Gandalf and everybody's just there. Just first of all, he's just, you know, preparing for the war, looking over the horizon and then the horde comes. The whole series has been kind of like that from the start to until this point. Like, okay, invasion's gonna happen, invasion's gonna happen. There's been preparation, talk, and now's the moment. Wait a minute, animation changed? Where did the color come from? I have always believed there is something beautiful in the very first moments of a battle. Here are the moments of highest emotion. The fear of mortal men. The frustrated bloodlust and screaming overconfidence of mankind's enemies. In the moments when a battle is joined, the purity of the human species is first revealed to the foe. Look at the turrets. Yeah, we look scary with the red eyes and shit. Siege scene from some kind of movie. Shit. 
she has a bank, alright. If your jetpack is not much of just a normal seed, is it? You're just gonna scale the fucking walls like that. while killing people. This scene is epic, man. What is flying down? Well, that's it? No. I'm like, what the fuck? Eight minutes over already? No. Oh, I guess that was the first wave. I like this, there's colors now. Damn, he's gonna shoot or something? This scene is intense. Damn, that scene was fucking intense. They're just walking on with Black Templars or, you know, flag like that. That is a bleak picture. The real battle begins tomorrow. At least we will not be bored. I believe they will wait. They will wait until they have overwhelming force with which to crush us. And they will strike like a hammer. I don't understand the strategy. I requested strategy we here. withdraw all guard forces from the wasteland installations across all of Southern Armageddon Secundus. The Colonel agreed in principle. Well, what's worth guarding out there? Munitions. A great deal of munitions. Mm. To be used when the hive cities fall and need to be reclaimed. But that is not all. The desert vultures spoke of a curious legend. Something buried beneath the sands. 
a weapon. All right. I like that element, you know. I've seen a lot of stories about that, like, you know, especially with the Mechanicus uh, storyline, something like that. Like, uh, finding ruins and finding old technology type of thing. I guess they're talking about a similar thing. Like, old world technology, some kind of weapon or something. So there's always this, uh, you know, element of adventure, right? I mean, whenever you play any kind of open world game, which has many things going on, but if you also add a uh, element of adventure like that, like, you know, Indiana Jones style, finding old relics here and there, investigating, finding some super weapon, it's always fun. That's the element Warhammer has too, which is awesome. So, first of all, obviously this is a, a audio book. All this dialogue is from an audio book. Uh, Richard Burton probably just made the, you know, animation only. But even with that, all the sound effects, just what to animate. Man, this is some high quality shit right here. Especially the last scene, right? Where the guard was dying like that. And, you know, he, he, he looks at to other, you know, other spacemen and he's like, there is nothing we can do. That is just deep scene right there. And this was just first wave. I don't get the strategy right now, right? I mean, uh, obviously they have much higher number than, the, you know, the uh, Black Templars here have, right? Uh, and they can just scale the wall by, with the jetpacks. So there is no much element of the wall, right? In any siege, wall is the biggest factor, right? If you're the one who's defending, you kind of have a higher advantage because of the wall. Even if you're a lower number, you kind of have a better advantage. But if, you, if you're enemy and just fucking scale the wall by our jetpack, I mean, what do you do at that point? So the next few parts are going to be really good. There's part 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Holy shit, this battle is going to, you know, going to last a long time. I guess we're going to see extended battles while they also try to figure out that secret weapon or whatever, right? Just for the extra oomph to win. But yeah. Right, well, that was Hell's Rich part 7 and 8 by the channel Richard Boylan. If you like my reaction, do forget to like and subscribe so I know which type of videos to react to more. Comment if you want to react to any specific video. And yeah, I'll see you next time.